Millions of Americans rely on public transportation every day. And without access to quality public transportation, commuters will be left without options. Public transportation not only gets Americans to work, but also puts Americans to work. First Transit operates uh, just under 12,000 vehicles around the country. We carry uh, over 300 million passengers annually. Our products are, uh, have a very high profile because when you walk on a bus or a rail car, you're going to sit down. And whether the ride is eight minutes or 80 minutes, it's all about comfort. Veolia has a pretty large presence in North America. We serve over 200 communities. We work locally to hire locally and create jobs locally. We're brand names Twin Vision, Mobitech, and Digital Recorders. We've got operating locations in uh, several countries. Every contract, every dollar is important for us because it flows through from the bus, bus manufacturers and train manufacturers down to the vendors such as ourselves and suppliers. For every one dollar invested in public transit, 36,000 jobs are supported or created. And every one dollar invested generates four dollars in economic returns. First Transit and First Service employ or manage just over 20,000 employees. Veolia employs uh, almost 17,000 people. We employ just short of 500 people. Bombardier Hill Transportation has seven, over 7,000 employees. If you included all of our subcontractors, we effectively employ more than 500 people. We employ approximately 100 people and have temporary um, employees that we're looking to hire permanently. Businesses of all sizes share their views on the importance of federal investment in public transit. Our ability uh, to have access to federal dollars to purchase buses, uh, fund transit facilities, it's the infrastructure of the business that we're in. Well, the majority of our business is dependent on people buying, buying buses and rail cars, and without consistent and adequate federal funding, that industry ceases to exist. The true economic growth that can come uh, to cities is through public transit and through sustained public funding of these. We've been going through now three plus years of short-term continuing resolutions, but it's available only on a few months at a time, and you don't do capital planning a few months at a time. You've got to have a long-term horizon. Long-term funding is particularly important so that we can plan five, ten years um, into the future for our company and for our customers as well. Until we get the message clear and legislation in place, six-year or five or six-year legislation long-term, the industry will continue to falter. We don't get a chance to make a sale. If we don't make a sale, we don't employ people. We've created a lot of jobs with a lot of the money that the government has set aside for public transportation. Cities need to grow and people need to move in those cities if they want to grow. These businesses agree our country needs more public transportation, not less. Public transportation creates jobs now and helps the economy grow as we move into the future.